last, it's official. Thanks to the generous help of the United States government, we are about to be involved in the greatest real estate swindle of all time. Lex, what is this obsession with real estate? All the time, land, land, land. Miss Desbacher, when I was six years old, my father said to me... Get out. <laughs> Before that, he said, son, stocks may rise and fall. Utilities and transportation systems may collapse. People are no damn good. But they will always need land, and they'll pay through the nose to get it. Remember, my father said, land. Right. It's a pity that uh, he didn't see from such humble beginnings how I've created this empire. An empire? This? Miss Tessmucker, how many girls do you know who have a Park Avenue address like this one? Park Avenue address? 200 feet below? Do you realize what people are shelling out up there for a few miserable rooms off a common elevator? What, what more, more could, could anyone, anyone ask? ask? Now, as you may or may not know, I am, as they say, very heavy into real estate. In order to make money in that game, you have to buy for a little and sell for a lot, right? Right. 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 So, problem. How to make the land more valuable between the time you buy it and the time you sell it. Now, this is California. Richest, most populous state in the Union. I don't need a geography lesson from you, Luthor. Oh, yes, of course, you've been there. I do forget you. Get around, don't you? <laughs> uh, where was I? California. Uh, California, right. Oh, the San Andreas Fault. Maybe you've heard of it. Yes, it's the joining together of two land masses. The fault line is unstable and shifting, which is why you get earthquakes in California from time to time. Wonderful. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Everything west of this line is the richest, most expensive real estate in the world. San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Everything on this side of the line is just hundreds and hundreds of miles of worthless desert land, which just so happens to be owned by... Alex Luthor Incorporated. Now, call me foolish, call me irresponsible. It occurs to me that a 500 megaton bomb planted at just a proper point would, uh, would destroy most of California. Millions of innocent people would be killed. The West Coast, as we know it, would fall into the sea. Bye-bye, California. <laughs> Hello, new West Coast, my West Coast. Costa del Ex, Lutherville, Marina del Ex, Otisburg. Otisburg? Who's this macho guy? She's got her own place, man. Otisburg? It's a little bitty place. Otisburg? Okay, I just... Wipe it off. That's all. It's a little town. You're a dreamer, Lex Luthor. A sick, twisted dreamer. Your plan couldn't possibly work. I'll admit there were a few problems. Adjusting the precise trajectory of the missile. Finding the optimum stress point for the fault line itself. Which, by the way, is uh, target zero right here. Ooh, 